Hello ladies, today I'm going to talk about this French headpiece and uh, the big idea behind it is to show you how not to get scared when you get your package with this French coif and you know when you look at this cloth and you think oh my how am I supposed to make it look like this? In the European Christian tradition, a woman was obliged to wear a headpiece. An appearance of an uncovered head was uh, interpreted as a uh, you know, gross violation of decency, depending on the region and status, obviously. Uh, thus, all women from the age of 12 to 100 were supposed were obliged um, to wear a headpiece. Um, actually, there were some other reasons for that. Uh, a headpiece helped you protect from the elements so snow, wind, dust and rain. And it's also, you know, it was a simple matter of hygiene, I'd say. Since ancient times, such scarves and bedspreads were used for the same purposes. But by the 15th century in Europe, a headpiece called a French coif or a Flemish kerchief or a tailed cap had spread widely. It actually had a bit different design, but the functionality was the same. It had a cap with a brim and, you know, many of us used to wear such a headpiece when we were kids. Here in Amstrad, we have reworked this headpiece a little bit and now we're going to show you how to use it. the authentic designs had drawstrings on it, but we added them for fixing the headpiece on the head, as well as for the reliability of the structure. They are actually hardly noticeable. So as you can see, this headpiece only seems challenging to put on your head, but it's not. And it's pretty simple and it will help you complete your townswoman look. And who knows, may maybe it will help you lure some blacksmith into your nuts. Thanks for watching the video. There's more to come. Bye.